my friends, uh, if you turn in your uh, books to page number uh, 48. 48. 48. 48. Let's go, friends. people. Okay. Key concept time. Here we go. Reviewing what we just learned. Okay. Uh, if we look at the top, zero exponent property. Once again, any number, that's what that variable A represents. Baby, any number raised to the zero power is equal to one. One billion to the zero power? Yeah, one. Still that's one. It. Hey, negative exponent property, what we're doing there, if any number is raised to the negative exponent, okay, we're placing the base number as the denominator, taking the opposite of that exponent, and having a numerator of 1. Basically, what we're doing, and we're going to explain that here in question number 1, is that means we're dividing 1 by the base number n number of times. Ah. All right, so what do the zero exponent and negative exponent property mean? Pretty simple. Zero exponent. Any number to the zero exponent. Zero. Equals, as Mr. Fricky wrote it, the big one. I wrote Uno, too. Uno. I don't know if you guys saw that. By the way, anybody wants to challenge me in Uno, I am one of the world's greatest Uno players. Okay? One. Negative exponent. What does it mean? Ooh, I'm getting rid of that because I don't have room. Wow. Okay? Hope you wrote smaller. Negative exponent. What it means, basically, and we're just going to say any number, and I'm going to put x to the negative y power, right? What is that going to equal? 1 over x to the y power. And we're going to leave it there. Now, folks, negative exponents do not represent negative numbers. Negative exponents represent really, 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 really small numbers. Mm -hmm. Really small numbers, but not negative numbers. They're numbers greater than zero, but less than one. They're really, really, really small. There you go. All right, moving on. Let's go to number two. In the expression 9 to the negative 12th power, what does the negative exponent mean? What does negative exponent mean? First off, it means the number is going to be really, 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 really small. And the reason why it's going to be really, 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 really small is because basically you are going to be dividing... One by nine twelve times. Or basically it's the fraction one over nine times 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 oh dear boy. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Told you it was eight, don't you listen? Nine, ten. 11, 12. <laughs> That's your fraction there, folks. 1 over 9 multiplied together 12 times. Or basically, we're dividing 1 by 9 12 times. Really small. In the expression, 3 times 2 to the 0 power, what is the order of operations? Explain how you would evaluate the expression. Well, for those of you that uh, know your order of operations, parentheses first, exponents second, multiplication or division next, addition or subtraction. So if we look at this expression, the first thing we've got to do is take care of the exponents. Okay? So what is the order of operation? We have to take care of the exponents first. Then we would take this value, which this would be equal to 3 times 1. We would have to take that value and multiply it by 3 to get our final expression. Yep. Questions on that? Crickets. Crickets, no questions. All right, good job, everybody. We're halfway there. Halfway home, baby. Halfway home. Ooh, Ooh boy, that's a big number, isn't it? Holy smokes. 1,999,999. To the zero power. Mm, think about that, folks. Yes. Good job, everybody. I think I'm right. Am I right?
I, I think so. I wonder if your calculator would give you that answer. I don't know. That's for them to figure out. We use brain power. All right, moving on. 5A. Here we go, people. Right there, using the positive exponents. Folks, once again, we're going to take 7 to the negative 6th power. Numerator of 1. Base number of 7. Opposite of negative 6 for the exponent. So it's 1 over 7 to the 6th power. Letter B, rewrite 1 over 10 to the negative 3rd power using a positive exponent. This was where Mr. Fricky taught you guys up, right? And he said something like, hey, take, take this and flip it over. Remember the tumble machine? Mm -hmm. Tumble machine. But take the opposite of the exponent, right? And we know any number divided by 1 is always itself. So final answer there. And to the third power. Good job, everybody. We're moving on. Evaluate this expression. Okay, this represents 27 times x to the zero power times y to the negative second power. We're going to substitute values of x for as four, y is three. So 27. Where there's an x, I'm putting a lovely number four. So four to the zero power. Where there's a y, I'm putting three. So I'd have three to the negative second power. Following your order of operations, step one, simplify the exponents. 27, now 4 to the 0 power. Think long and hard, people. All right, I think they've thought enough. 1, 3 to the negative second power. That is going to be 1 over 3 to the second power. Now, watch this. I'm going to magically change 3 to the, neg three to the second power. 3 times 3? To 9. Okay, next step, multiply. Doesn't matter which order we multiply these numbers together because multiplication is commutative. Okay, so if you want to start with multiplying the 1 times the 1 ninth, you can. You can multiply. Doesn't matter. Multiply them all together. 27 times 1 is 27. 27 times 1 ninth. Now, multiplying by what's called a, what is it called? Fraction. It is a fraction. It's what's called a unit fraction. Okay? When you have a numerator of 1, this is basically representing dividing by 9. So, long story short, maybe Mr. Freaky at some point can explain it to you. Yep. Okay? But either way, 27 times 1 is 27. 27 times 1 9. That's the same thing as dividing by 9. Final answer, 3. With that said, folks, there is your uh, key concept. We'll be back at you here in a flash uh, to tell you what's next.